please do not edit WPI on the CRC bench drives. You are encouraged to copy the WPI folder from the bench drives to explore your newfound knowledge. Now it's time to make WPI useful by configuring some programs. I downloaded four programs to use as examples. I moved them to the WPI install folder. I've already created separate folders for each program, so each program goes in its own folder. You could leave them in the install folder instead. There are advantages to both methods. Click Config in the WPI application. Click on the Details tab, then click the Add button to add a new program. Enter the program's name the way you want it to appear on the menu. Press the Tab key. A unique ID will automatically be created. Focusing on the lower left portion of the window, I've entered Firefox as the program name. Rather than using the default category name, I'm creating a new category by clicking the drop-down menu choosing New Category, and entering Browser. Click on the Command tab, then on the Add button. Click on the Folder Icon button at the end of the Command Entry field. Browse to the location of the program and open it. WPI will automatically insert the path needed to execute the program installation file. Be sure to save the configuration before exiting. Returning to WPI, we see that there are now two new categories containing my four programs. I've made sure all four programs are selected and clicked on Begin Installation. This is what it looks like as it installs my four programs. Now, unlike WPI that you see run on the CRC computers, this one does not have silent installs set up yet. And I have to click on every single window and dialog box that comes up. I have to unclick things to keep other things from popping up. Needless to say, I will soon be creating a video that demonstrates how to do configuration of silent installs. But for now, you can get an idea of what it will look like and how long it takes.